Hi everybody, it's Lori Manns with QualityMediaConsultants.com where we help entrepreneurs and small business owners to get more clients, more brand visibility, and increase revenue in their business in less time. Well, today's topic is sales mastery. How to master the art of the sale. So, you know if you're in business, you gotta sell more to make more, right? And a lot of times when I go to speak to groups or even when I work with some of my clients, I get asked this question, what's the best way to increase revenue in my business? What's your best tip, Lori? And so I say the same thing all the time. In order to increase revenue in your business, you're going to have to do one of two things. And number one is you're gonna to have to increase your rates or raise your prices. And number two is you're gonna to have to increase your sales. And in order to increase your sales, you're going to have to get comfortable with the art of the sale. And you're going to have to be comfortable selling your products and services to your target audience and your ideal clients. Now, a lot of people have problems with sales because they don't want to be too aggressive or pushy or come across as salesy or desperate. And they're not comfortable with the art of selling. But if you're going to be in business and you're going to grow your income from year to year, you've got to get comfortable with selling. Every entrepreneur needs to know how to sell their products and services. So my first strategy for you in the sales um, 101 world is you have to think of yourself as a problem solver. Now, a lot of times when I give marketing strategies, you'll hear me talk about being a problem solver for your clients. Well, in the world of sales, you're going to have to solve problems as well because people buy whatever it is they buy based upon a want or a need, okay? Whether you want it or you need it, you're going to buy it. Those are the two reasons why you buy anything, whether it's a car or house or a pair of shoes or a purse. <laughs> you're going to buy that thing because you either want it or you need it. So if you position yourself as a problem solver for your customers and your clientele, you're going to sell a lot more of your goods and services. I'll give you an example. Let's just say it's the winter time and I have chafe. Uh, dry, chapped skin, and I've got eczema. Well, if you're going to sell me a lotion that you've invented for people just like me, if I'm suffering from eczema or dry skin, you're going to have to convince me why your lotion is different from all the other lotions out there and why it solves my problem of having eczema skin. Well, you're going to have to basically sell me on your product and convince me that it's worth the price point that you're selling it for, but you're gonna to have to position yourself as the problem solver and your product as the solution to my problem, okay? So if you position yourself and your products and services as the answer in terms of meeting a need or in terms of solving a problem for your clientele, you're gonna sell a lot more. Now, the second sales principle that I have for you is I want you to position yourself as a service provider. That's right. We buy from people who give great customer service. And if you position yourself as someone who is interested in serving your clientele and not just in it for the money, not just in it to make a dollar or get commission off of them or make a sale from them, you're going to sell a lot more because people like to buy from others who make them feel comfortable, who make them feel valued, who make them feel a part of their family or their community. We like to have rapport with people who are selling us things, whether it's a small ticket item or a big ticket item. Um, think of it this way. Here's an example for you. Your favorite restaurant. If you've got a certain waitress that you like to um, have weight on you, then you feel comfortable and you always give that person a great tip. But if you go in your favorite restaurant and the person who waits on you is not friendly or they make you feel like a pain in the neck for asking for more tea or rolls, then you're not going to be so inclined to want to leave them a great tip. I mean, you might still leave them 10 or 15% just to, you know, give them something. But 
you know, you're not going to leave your normal 20 or 25 percent because they didn't go over and above in making you feel like they were happy to serve you. You get the point. It's the same in your business. Make your customers feel like you are making them feel so important, so special, so valued, and like you are really in it to help them and serve them. So if you have that mentality and you come across as serving your customers, trust me, it'll go a long way. There is a great quote by Zig Ziglar and it says something of this nature. Uh, if you help enough people get what they want, you can get what you want. So basically the principle is, um, if you help enough other people get what they want, you can always get what you want. And that's not verbatim, but you get the point. You have to be of service and you have to help people and make them feel like you have their best interest at heart. And that uh, um, and that is going to help you go a long way in selling your products and services. So there you have it. Those are my two simple but time-tested sales strategies for you. If you always keep those in the back of your mind, trust me, you will sell more and you will master the art of the sale. So if you like these principles, you like this video, please share it, tweet it, and make a comment below. I've got so many more sales principles to share with you and solutions to help you grow your business and increase your revenue, but I sell them in a system. It's called the Sales Mastery Success System. You can learn more about it on my website at qualitymediaconsultants.com and you can also attend one of my workshops called Sales Mastery 101 where I teach entrepreneurs and sales um, and small business owners sales principles and be sure to check out my website for the next date when I will be teaching that workshop. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this video helped you, don't forget, make a comment, subscribe to this channel, share it, and I will see you next time. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.